From the Oklahoma Newsroom, this is an OSU update. I'm Jenny Carlson here with Scott Wright. Scott, the last couple of years, the offensive line has been a, a much talked about unit on the Oklahoma State football team. Got it solidified last year, but now injuries have really set in and it's really become problematic. They've lost Larry Williams for the year, Zach Crabtree day to day. Where do things stand right now with this with this group? Well, that's the big question uh, because you had two new guys on that right side of the line, one at right guard, one at, at right tackle, who stepped in and 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 played well, but not great. Um, they they definitely have have some room to grow. They're both young guys, one being a sophomore, one being a redshirt freshman. Tevin Jenkins at right tackle was a guy that they really liked. They had been rotating him in to get him some experience, letting him play a little bit of right guard uh, in the first uh, first couple of games of the season. Uh, but he wasn't necessarily a guy that they were ready to just throw out there uh, and, and play every snap of, uh, of, of offense for this team. Johnny Wilson steps in at, at right guard, Jenkins at, uh, at tackling Crabtree's spot. Now, once Crabtree comes back, that's still a question, but once that happens, Jenkins move, moves back to that guard spot and, uh, and they feel pretty good about that group. But Crabtree, Crabtree's injury is a big question because turf toe, while it doesn't sound bad, yeah. can really linger, especially for a, a big guy that, uh, that where footwork is, is so important. The really, the, the painful thing is Larry Williams probably played his best game maybe of his career at Pitt and was, was a, a dominant force that day, mm -hmm. and, uh, and now he's, he's done for the year. Sounds like they might try to get another year of eligibility, which doesn't, you know, doesn't help them in the interim, but at least the potential Larry Williams could be back for another season. Yes, that would be that would be big for for a group that has so many seniors right now to bring back somebody like that. But they're looking into the details. Sure. Of, you know, he's a guy that's had two injuries. One one year he started five games. One year he's played three. So uh, you have to look at uh, look at the numbers and figure out if uh, if he's going to qualify. You know, you mentioned those guys that filled in on it was and right side, both right side. Yeah. You know, holes that had to be filled uh, for Saturday against TCU. Not a ton of sacks in that game. Obviously, Mason Rudolph had uh, some turnover issues, but. What have you seen on film as far as how those guys in a reserve role played? They're not starters for a reason, but but how did they do, Scott? Well, you know, Gundy said it. They were they were the next guys up, so they were the guys that were they were coming in. Um, they're they're two very different players. Johnny Wilson is uh, is a, is a, a physical guy, good fit on the interior of the line, but still has some learning to do, and uh, and and will probably make pretty significant steps from from last Saturday to uh, to his next start. Uh, whether it's now or, or, or in the future. Um, Tevin Jenkins is a, is a big, powerful guy, still learning the physicality of college football. So uh, he's, uh, he's got progress to make as well. They, uh, they, they played well. They had times when, uh, when they missed a block here or there uh, that, that didn't look tragic but, uh, but, was, uh, but impacted a play. Tevin Jenkins and, and, and Johnny Wilson both had times when they when they got pushed back a little bit, uh, didn't necessarily get overpowered, but got pushed back enough that it disrupted either Mason Rudolph's timing or pushed him out of the pocket, made him move around and, and go try to find somewhere else to throw the ball from. And so you had some of those different moments where uh, where the uh, the youth showed up. Well, we'll see how they do with a week's of a week of practice, which they didn't necessarily have last week with those injuries before TCU. We'll see how they how they do at Texas Tech on Saturday. That game is a seven o'clock kick in Lubbock. Be sure to stay with the best coverage team anywhere at newsok.com and every day in the Oklahoman.